Shafat Ya Rasulullah. Alhamdulillah for Ramadan inshaAllah everybody coming out like a newborn baby, all the badness washed and cleansed and all Allah's ni'mat and blessings dressed upon the souls inshaAllah. <coughs> What you got? Hmm? As alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum as salam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, not sure if this is appropriate Probably what, not What can happen if the spouse is constantly pressing the button down with bad characteristics? <laughs> yeah, that's why you, you, you're finding out now more and more relationships are in difficulty that as, as your energy grows and your reality is of a different reality, they're not on the same floor. So this was taught by Mawlana Shaykh many years ago. As we end and draw near to the time of Sayyidina Mahdi salam, everything will be based on preserved tablet. Whom you are written to be with is not necessarily whom you chose. So it's based on what Allah has written upon the tablet that you would be in the time of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. because imagine many people don't deserve that presence and they won't be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. But maybe the one they're with will be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. So these are the difficult times like the dunya, the dunyas are shaking, quaking. Continents like ripping, cities ripping. Why? Allah then also show within our lives there's going to be many changes in people's lives. And whether it's their children or their spouses, some will choose to take higher floors and live their life on that higher floor. And that's why the teaching tonight was, stop complaining about loneliness. Because a lot of emails, oh this is a lonely path. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Path is a lonely path, uh, get over that. It's not supposed to be crowded people, it's not a, a, a Turkish bazaar. There's not supposed to be crowds of people. You actually want to avoid people. It's about you connecting with the energy and find whom Allah surrounded you by. Because you're going to find less and less people of like mind. People want to email, where can I find like a, a zikr somewhere? That's probably where you're going to go and find the most fitna. Where somebody's just gossiping, talking, they don't really even know what they're teaching. Some people don't even teach by inspiration. They listen to the whispers and gossips of people and they begin to talk about something, oh you know, I heard this person's bad, I heard this is bad and they don't have any inspiration. They're listening to gossips of people and then giving comments. So again the path becomes more and more to keep your connection, keep your energy and be happy with what Allah has surrounded you by and to keep yourself on the higher plane and not the lower. And again we go to the lower floors to visit people for social contact and social activities but we find our happiness when we retreat back to our abode 
in which the energy is peaceful there, the, the, the atmosphere is peaceful there. But when you find peace on the lower abode and you keep wanting to go lower and lower and they want to go here where it's busy, they want to go here to the moon, they want to go all these things and they find happiness in the crowds of people gossiping, doing every type of craziness then that, that's something wrong with the energy of that person, that that's where they find contentment. So many people are facing these difficulties where one spouse wants to press the up button and the other spouse wants to press the lower button and then they want to cry about it. There's nothing to cry about, just surrender to Allah's will. If Allah wants you going higher, press the up button and if somebody's destined to go down then they have to choose what they have to choose. But we have to find your, your solace in what Allah's destiny has been written, right? So they'd be meditating, contemplating, connecting with that energy and they find their peace and tranquility from that energy and the grace of that energy to give them strength for all of these issues that are coming up now. Otherwise people clinging on physically. You know, scream, how much are you going to scream to somebody, don't press the down button and they keep pressing the down button. What are you going to do, beat yourself to death from it? No but you have to be the other way, be connecting and understand that if this is Allah's will, stand back, it's not your business, make your connection with Allah that you're good, you did what you can and the rest are people's choices. Sayyidina Nuh could not save his son to board his ship. And his son said, no I'll find my own way. So this is, you know, this is Allah's way of saying that if the Prophets of God can't force who's going to be on their ship then me and you we're going to have a lot of difficulties. But it's about each person making their connection with the best of their character by leading by the best of example inshaAllah and the, the rest is in Allah's hands inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah What can we do when we are completely overtaken by these amazing realities that you are teaching? SubhanAllah, how can we increase the capacity to take more? InshaAllah keep meditating. That's what we, I think we talked last week. People are taking and going to the next page, taking and going to the next page but that's not the completion. Download did not occur on this talk. This was merely for you to want to plug in, this is not the download. Don't think this talk anything was downloaded. This was just enough for you to look at this address and plug in your zip drive. If you plug in the zip drive the fires will complete the download of these knowledges, right? So each of these are like a bullet point, like a clickbait, spiritual clickbait. That, whoa, this is a subject I want to know. We talked about the veils, we talked about frequencies. It's not that you listen five minutes, okay, that's great, I got it, oh I know all about that reality, let's go to the next subject. But that the frequencies and these different types of talks, there are different people have a different energy, different reality, different understanding, different background. It clicks with them, then they begin to meditate that, what is that? How am I actually changing vibrations and entering different universes? And each one Allah created my reality and I have a reality in all of them. But I want to reach to the highest reality so then I have to have the highest vibration. So now we say either through the veils or now the analogy like a building up and down if people can't understand forward movement, up and down movement then you know is vertical movement, maybe that's more of an understanding for people. How to stay on the higher levels and not to follow all the clicks to go down. Shaitan's only interest is to bring our, our vibration down and to operate at lower floors, lower levels, lower, lower realities. And that's everything around us now inshaAllah. 
Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam rahmatullah Sayyidi, how to keep our kids busy to take the phones away from them in countries like UK and small houses where kids find it very boring? Please forgive my bad adab. Yeah, activities that you, you, you limit the time onto the phone and, and you fill their activities with the sports, martial arts, different types of activities so that they're busy. And they're so busy that they don't have time to put their hand on a phone. But if they don't have any activity and you just take the phone away and say, sit on the couch, suffer, that's not going to be productive. So a lot of sports and uh, activities with sports to, to keep them from doing that or, or something of interest to them that, that keeps them to be occupied. And then again the, the positive activities from the zikr, the understanding of the zikr. There are families who they enjoy the zikr, they sit after the zikr, they talk with the family about the talk and they make it a whole sort of process because the talks are easy for children to digest. These are not uh, in any type of language that only uh, scientific uh, scholars would understand. It's very basic English for children to understand that, oh he was talking about vibration and energy and yes and it's something that they can understand and, and assimilate and understand how to put that into practice inshaAllah. And that becomes a great, great struggle because at every, every point now shaitan has a button to take the child down. Every social media, every type of activity is about confusing people to press their down button instead of elevating towards the heavens and become more and more difficult as they become older. And the, the bad nafs enters and uh, all the excuses, they say they don't want to come but they don't even want to watch. And if they don't want to watch then they're now being… and something inside of them is inspiring to cut that energy and the connection to that energy. And usually by example of a parent that they don't have a respect for it. Do you think the kid is going to have respect for it? No. They do as you do not as you say. Nobody cares what anybody says, they want to see what you're doing. When they see that you do it right, you revere it, this is the love you have, then for the love I have for you, I'll do as you do. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Wa Can you please tell us more about the beings on the higher levels you mentioned before such as Nujaba, Nukaba and the others and how do they help us on our path? Nothing, make your connection to the shaykh. That's all that you have to worry about. What are you going to do with Nujaba? Definitely you don't want to be calling on jinn. And the angels don't answer the phone. Those are, those are things for the awliya to know and those who've been trained by awliya and the students to know that there are seven categories of spiritual beings that are all around you. Its key is to connect with the shaykh for if you don't connect with the shaykh all of them stand back. There's not, not one of them that will communicate with you to break the adab of your tariqah. And anything that does try to communicate with you is not from these seven, is something nefarious, trying to break your relationship with the shaykh. So people have like a jinn that attached to them at home and they say, oh there's something guiding me, no? there's shaitan playing with you to break you from the connection with the shaykh and to, to sort of devastate your life. Because imagine in a school of manners they see each other. They have to answer to Prophet that, oh so you communicated with this guy, now he doesn't want to talk to his shaykh anymore and he's got no more connection on earth with the, with the living guy and that's he's going to say, yes that's what I did, that's what I did. Yeah. No, they don't answer like that, their adab is, is, is impeccable. As soon as they see that the manner is not correct, the, everything will be pulled back. And anyone who says they do have a connection then we just gave you the understanding it's not going to be good because when the good ones pull back the devils step in 
and they start swifting and you know swishing around the person like you can't imagine upside down. They'll flip their world upside down. InshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah There's quite a few questions related going down the elevator. Uh, Sayyidi, yeah. <laughs> how can we stop going down and make proper tawbah for evil agents of Satan we may have bumped into? How do we climb back up? Yeah, all the practices, that's, what we, that's the whole understanding is that every time you're doing something you should know like what we gave in the example of the chair. So everyone can catch everyone now with the chair. Somebody's bothering you, just look to them and say, I wonder who's sitting on your chair now. So when you talk to somebody impro improperly, they can respond back to you, I wonder who's sitting on your chair because your soul doesn't talk bad, so it must be shaitan and nafs. So everyone now can catch each other with the chair. So you can't say, no, no, I'm a very pious person but therefore I'm doing and bothering you. So the same with the elevator, is it you going up or you going down? No, no, I'm just doing these things, uh, uh, you press enough time the down and you'll be so far down you can't go back up. But mainly you have to then find peace on your floor. So it's boring, we don't know any, there's nothing new, no one, no one, what no one? You're surrounded by heavenly beings. This is an explanation for why your floor is empty. Because people want to know, why, well, what's going on? I, I used to have so many friends, I used to have so many of this, I knew this, I knew that. Uh, yeah, because they're all in the basement is filled. That's where they have basement parties, right? Down there everybody's got a big party going on. But when Allah take you to the high rise, there's nobody up there. So that's uh, glad tidings. Anytime you enter a place where there's less humans, Allah loves you more. He's isolating you and there's not that many people up here. They don't have the character, they're not interested in, in improving themselves. So then you're not supposed to be connecting with the people, you're supposed to be connecting with the energy and Divinely Presence, the love of Prophet and all those whom Allah is pleased with. And then they find the energy and the power of that reality so that now they can go down, deal with people and quickly go back into their energy to recharge themselves. But others when you talk to them, all of us have family, they love going out, 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 they say, what the heck when your battery is empty or how do you go out? No, as if they don't even have a battery, they operate on negative charge, very scary. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah If the student is weak and feel like they can't achieve, will their shaykh dress them? Yeah, the dress of the shaykh is the, that's why they keep telling you to meditate. <laughs> if you meditate and connect, the fires can dress you and keep you on the floor that you're supposed to be. Hence, that's why this curriculum is all about connecting. We said Naqshbandiya's secret, it's the soul of all tariqahs. We don't jump up and down, we don't whirl. We don't stick knives in our cheeks. Our secret that Prophet gave was the nearness to his Divinely heart. As a result the uloom and the knowledges of Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah is the food that feeds all the tariqahs. It comes to the heart of Naqshbandi shaykhs and trickles down to the other tariqahs. So if you connect to the heart, you receive the fires and the energies from the heart of Prophet And that's why then anyone who's in Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah has to be studying how to connect. One day the shaykhs will figure that out and also start to say that.
But that was Nashpandi Yatanariya, how to connect, how to connect, how to connect because that was its mujazah, that was its miracle, was knowledges, not swords and hadras and whirling. Its miracle was its nearness to Prophet So through that connection every fires and dress is coming. Through that connection every goodness of light comes and every badness is dispelled. If they don't make the connection then they're waiting for death and the intercession. Right, because Mawlana Shaykh's promise that if gave on your last breath if you didn't achieve, didn't want to do anything then inshaAllah on your last breath they come and intercede so that the abode of your grave is not in a difficulty. But you miss then all of the blessings of tariqah, all of the gifts of tariqah. So the tariqah's gifts and its fires and its energies, its lights, its immense horizons was meant for the students to connect. But now it's, it's as a matter of survival because of the badness that's coming on earth, the difficulties that are coming upon earth just to get the guidance to traverse the, all the landmines that are now all over the earth. You go here this is bad, you go here that's difficult, you go over here it becomes contagious. So all of these difficulties even more motivation to be connected and to keep the connection and keep the light in the heart on so that to feel that energy and feel the fires inshaAllah. We're good inshaAllah. InshaAllah Eid Mubarak to everyone and if they've done their prayers now if they're ahead of us or or they're going into it uh, tomorrow morning inshaAllah, Allah dress everyone, bless everyone inshaAllah and uh, immense blessings. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.